And there we have it. One completed watchtower. Right, welcome back to my channel everybody. Today I'm just going to be going through uh, the building process, a bit of a follow on from the first video. I'm going to show you uh, how to build watchtowers, how to turn fences into gates, how to bury your loot, um, and just every process all the way through. Now I've collected all the uh, tools already for you, so it saves you quite a job. It took me about an hour running round to collect them all. I'm going to show you how to do these wire mesh barriers, but first we'll show you where to get the tools. You can find them in these sheds. You can also find them in farm lands, industrial areas like this one where you see cranes aim for that, or you can also get them from industrial areas like these. And also, surprisingly, you find quite a lot in these outhouses. Right, let's get to the build. Right, the first thing you'll notice is I've got my hard hat on, my high vis, my working gloves, and my working boots. Uh, you don't need to wear these, but if you're going to do something, you may as well do it properly. <laughs> and I don't want building rigs coming after me. I've decided to build inside this um, little shed. You can build anywhere on the game. You can go into the woods if you want to go for stealth. Um, go deep into the woods, build there. Just make sure it's a flat area. But if you want to build on a, inside a house, it's just a lot easier. Or inside a shed or anything like this. It's a lot easier as you only need to block off the doors. First things first. What do you do with these wire mesh barriers, I hear you ask? Right. Place them wherever you want. You'll see them as you walk around, just at army bases and things like that. People can climb over them, but it's more uh, aesthetic type thing. Get your shovel. Fill it up with the gravel. They're quite handy just to have around your base, just a little bit of extra protection. There you go. Let's start by chopping down a tree. I only cut the trees twice, you can cut them three times and get the logs, but um, I only do it twice like that so it doesn't fall over. If you go for the third time, it will actually fall over. And to cut the trees, you need a hatchet, a splitter axe, or a um, fireman's axe. For this video, I'm going to be using the hatchet. You can also repair these items when they need repairing with tape, which I'll show you when it starts struggling. So we need two of these for the gate. Once I've quickly shown you this, you should be able to get the hang of it. It's pretty self-explanatory after once you get used to the basics and then we can quickly show you how to start building the uh, watchtower. So now I just need some small sticks because you've got to make the uh, and the rope. Stick all these back on so we can quickly um, pick all the items up. Right, you combine the sticks with your rope and you'll be prompted with fence kit. Craft the fence kit. You only need two sticks to do the fence kit. So one's there. I'm going to save that one because if I get another three off another bush, you can use it for the watchtower. You need four for the watchtower. Always build this side, don't build this side, as this will be outside and it's easier for people to actually knock your wall down when they're not fit, when they're not inside your base. So if you built it this side, they'd get into your base really quickly. Build it this side, they don't. So, then you place these, like so. Oh, sorry. I'll open both doors so we can get a better view. So that's the rope 
and the sticks, you grab your two logs and attach them. Grab your spade, your shovel, it doesn't matter which way you face for this. Oh, sorry, why is it not doing it? There we go. Just walk around till it prompts you and build base. And that is the first stage complete. As you can see, I put a lot of the building items into my quick inventory. It's just another little thing that I do as it's quicker. Move this out of the way for now. Right, now we need logs again. So I'm going to get another two. I don't know if I said earlier, but I don't do it three times because I don't want the trees to fall over like that. I'll just show it you happening. Because now, if anyone sees that, they're going to know that somebody's building there. So... I never do more than um, make sure it's not a dead tree as well. Right. And now we'll show you how to get the planks. So I'm going to put my, you can use, put this in there quick, you can use the handsaw, you can use the um, hatchet, whichever, craft wooden plank. Craft wooden plank. Another little handy tip is just when you're building you want to do it a lot quicker, I mean I, I, I like to build quickly, you can pick the planks up, move across to the vicinity, press combine and you can actually carry up to four times these, so you can carry 16, sometimes 20 depending on the server. So if you're if, if this wood wasn't in front of me and I'm having to run all the way over there to cut trees, I would make sure I come back with 16 or 20 in my hands every time so it saves me a journey. Attach again, again doesn't matter which way you're facing to attach them. Then nails, let's get these unboxed. Attach the nails to your fence. And then you want the hammer, or you can also use the hatchet, but you don't want the hatchet to uh, get damaged too quickly. Start building, you've got your options there, lower frame, upper frame, Fl platforms. We'll do the lower frame first. We'll go through every stage of it. Same again, it should now do the upper. Now because you don't want to lock yourself in, you obviously don't want to start building the other side as well. So, what I do next is build my gate. So, you need metal wire attach the metal wire then the only item you can do this with the pliers and it will prompt you to build a gate and there you go you've now got a base with a gate now the final step to this Grab your three or four pin combination for dial. I've got a three one here. Put it into your hands. Change the dial to whatever you want it to be. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner, it, that's the code to get into the base. Just for this demonstration, we'll change it to three, two, one. So change the first dial. Move across with R2. Change that to two. And then you walk over to your gate and combine it with the fence oh. there now nobody can get into your base because it's locked you can also obviously if you've got a lock pick close these and you've got double protection then in your base put barbed wire on your fence in you want it on the upper or the lower I'm going to put it on the lower because if you put it on the upper I find that people can just go underneath if you put it on the lower people can't jump over your wall 
so I put it on the low by knocking your top level off so I put it there grab your pliers and all you have to do is attach it to your gate looking at it mount it on and there you go that's all the basics of building next up where do I store my loot I'll show you one thing I will say about this I like to bury a lot of loot but ser servers you can damage a server by hiding the really good stuff and burying it because it will get lost as it will be just underground forever so just as a goodwill thing if you ever do move servers just remember where you've buried your items and just go back and dig them up so at least it doesn't ruin the server but there you go planks put your nails in your hand as you learnt how to do planks earlier craft wooden crate it doesn't take up much of your inventory I think it uses about between four to eight nails something like that ten nails and there you go. Then you just simply place it wherever you want. Put your items in it. And bury. As long as your persistence is on in whichever server you're on, if you make sure that it says persistence on, your items will always be there. So now you can explore without having all this heavy bag and everything on your back. That's why I kind of, if you watch my movies, you'll notice that I don't. the further on I get in a game, I don't actually wear a backpack. I just prefer to be quite stealth because I'm a solo player. Um, so I don't want to stand out as much as this character currently is. So I'll bury my items at my base and uh, just stay quite stealth. Right, let's get on with a watchtower. Right, we've got our sticks again, we've got three as you normally do, but we saved one from earlier because you need four, so that's quite handy, so we'll combine those, we've now got four. Move over to your rope, hope I'm not going too quick for people. Fence kit you can now move across, watchtower, craft that. We now have a watchtower kit, we'll place the watchtower wherever, just for this demo I'll stick it here. And same as we did before. This time you need four logs instead of two, which we use for the fence slash gate. So I'll start with two from there and two from here. towards the middle it should start saying attach you do sometimes have to move around for the prompt wake up there we go and same as before once you've got them in as we did with the uh, the other the fence get your shovel walk towards the middle it will start it will prompt you eventually to build the base come on There we go. Don't need this watchtower kit anymore. Same again, we'll attach our nails. I'll get another box. So I don't think 24 will be enough. Attach. Hammer time. go so now you've done the four columns rather than the um, 
rather than when we did two with the fence it's just four this time you aim at which wall you want to build I'll bring you back anyway because um, I know people get annoyed when videos are really long so I'll bring you back once I've built all these three sides and I'll show you how to build the stairs and the roof we go loot the town down there uh, good luck on your building I'll cheers you. my man tell me he was a nice fellow he could have shot me to be fair in fact I thought he were when he said I'm behind you I thought oh, I've picked wrong server to be doing a demo on because it's actually full and I've got a highly visual jacket on never mind let's crack on I'm surprised I've actually survived I've met three players already that but luckily none of them shot me right you walk up to the middle I'll get this done before I get shot walk up to the middle put your items in as you can see all the wall sides are done hammer out please don't die with the nails go to the middle and it should say build roof we now have a roof on top there you go now let's do the stairs hopefully so same as before aim for the middle put everything in the middle your nails your planks move to the middle build stairs and then to get higher and higher it's just a case of repeating the uh, process your next step is to get four logs again go up here attach the logs there and then this time use your hammer um, and it will build the next level build your walls all the way around again build your stairs build your roof do that all the way to the top and when you get to the very top level you need a roof and the only way you can build a roof is with the metal sheet I'll just quickly show you that's what it looks like with the uh, two tiers on you can cover these as well with camouflage when you find the camouflage I could build all this, but this looks very cool. I'm gonna try something. You might die. <laughs> it's quite a long way. Almost. I'm on, <laughs> I'm on yellow health. I'm gonna say I think I've fallen off uh, before. It's quite a long way. <laughs> Have you done? Know, it's got barbed wire on it. But building that it takes me like, I mean, this watchtower probably only took me about 20 minutes, something like that. When did I last see you? Can't have been that long ago. Yeah, it's not long ago. That's that side done. Right. Right. Yeah, good luck. Cheers, matey. See you later. If you're um, watching this video, Snowy Hawk, shout out to you, mate. I hope you found your boots for you buddy and there we go I didn't want anyone thinking that Mr. No Second Chances leaves things half done so the longest bit was actually uh, getting the sheet metal and walking back with it but we're there we're done let's build that roof and our watchtower's complete And there we have it, one completed watchtower. Let's go to the top. It took me about two hours altogether to find all the things in the sheds and everything that I showed you earlier and how to chop down all the wood and build everything but if you've got all the materials already and you soon pick it up it's quite easy once you get used to it all I hope this video has been helpful for some of you see you on the next one